Hello and welcome to today's episode of HCP TV. Up to now, all our episodes have been done remotely, but today we've come out for the first time. We've come to Walsingham, to the National Shrine of Our Lady. And here we are in the Slipper Chapel next to the Basilica dedicated to her. We're going to show you a little bit about the facilities here in Walsingham um, at the Shrine and also journey into the village where we're going to meet the Pilgrim Bureau, uh, the Abbey and the Anglican Shrine as well. We're going to share some of the stories and talk to people who work here and we're going to explore what it would be like if you came here, just like we go to Lourdes with our family groups, what it would be like for people to come here on pilgrimage as well. So we look forward to meeting you a bit later on that journey. To get to the village, we're going to walk along the Holy Mile and we hope you'll join us on that journey. Slowly but surely, pilgrims are coming back to the Shrine of Our Lady here in Walsingham. And behind me, you can see the building that is now the Basilica of Our Lady of Walsingham. Here in the grounds, we have the Stations of the Cross, the Water Fountain. There is also the Slipper Chapel, various other places, including a bookshop and cafeteria. I'm sure that as pilgrims all over the world begin to start their journeys of pilgrimage once again, we will be able to come here to Walsingham as friends um, from HCBT to friends here at our Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. We've come inside the Basilica Church of Our Lady of Walsingham. We're going to show you a little bit of the grounds and the, the various things that are available for you to visit and see and experience if you come here on a pilgrimage. Behind me is the chapel where Mass is celebrated either indoors for three or four hundred people or for big days the glass windows behind me open right up and the grounds are full of pilgrims worshipping together. We're now going to go and have a look at the statue of Our Lady of Walsingham. So here we have the statue dedicated to Our Lady of Walsingham. And just like when we're, we are in Lourdes, this is used and taken in procession from here to the, um, the shrine in the village, just like we have the procession in the afternoon in Lourdes and the torchlight procession in the evening in Lourdes. So come with me as we journey from the Slipper Chapel along the Holy Mile to the village of Walsingham. So we've continued on our pilgrimage journey here in Walsingham and we find ourselves in Dowry House and I'm delighted to say that we're here with Sister Gabriella. Sister, would you be able just to tell us a little bit about this place and what it is that you and your community are doing here? So this Dowry House retreat is a very special place. At the heart of Walsingham we've got finally the air retreat house which never actually has been properly in Walsingham. So we've, had, we've got programs coming to Walsingham, but to have the pleasure to have a retreat in Walsingham, that's, uh, that's something. So uh, it's, it's very beneficial for people to come as retreatants to Walsingham. And this house has got a lot of history, is uh, located just opposite to the Abbey grounds. That means this is the, the place where the shrine started. And in our retreat house of God, Adoration Chapel. And again, that allows us to be the beating heart of prayer for Walsingham, and not only for Walsingham. It's wonderful that people can join us. In a time of lockdown, we actually had our morning prayer and evening prayer set um, in this chapel here, live stream and it became a source of spiritual food for many. Now, we offer retreats here as community, and, and these are Walsingham Spirituality Retreats, many, so just allowing people to understand what is Walsingham about, what Our Lady is saying to us here. But also there are other retreats people organise as groups for themselves, as parishes and not only, and um, it's nice to see people as old and as young, um, everyone is welcome to come here. Uh, we are glad that at this moment uh, 
we can welcome people in flesh, in person, and uh, enjoy, uh, actually this, this weekend we're having course in terms of spirituality, and we've got a nice group booked. Um, so, it's for everyone to take the opportunity to come to Walsingham, to Our Lady's house, and feel in this retreat house, as in her house, uh, and taste the, the, the quiet, meet Our Lady, meet the Lord, and there's something special here. So welcome back as we continue on our pilgrimage here in Walsingham. We've journeyed from the Slipper Chapel along the Holy Mile and we found ourselves in the village of Walsingham itself at the Pilgrim Bureau. And we're here at the invitation of James. So thanks for asking us to come, James. Tell us a little bit about yourself and the role that you have here at the Shrine. Well, I'm the Outreach Project Coordinator here at the Shrine, and my outreach work is in answer to a call from the trustees of the Shrine to try and increase the diversity of people arriving at the Shrine to enjoy pilgrimage or retreats. So this is really to try and diversify in terms of ethnic minority, in terms of our abilities and disabilities, and in also to increase the amount of youth work that we do. Um, my role is therefore to try and reach out to groups who hadn't necessarily enjoyed a pilgrimage at Walsingham before. And I want to try and encourage these groups to test it and see, to see what it's like. Enjoy a pilgrimage, preferably an overnight pilgrimage, to get the real benefits of it. And so we'd like to invite you to come to the shrine, uh, to see the basilica, to see all the different features that we have to offer. Um, to enjoy and take part in the services, to meet other pilgrims, to go and retreat here. And there's so much that the area has to offer in addition to that. Thank you, James. That was really useful. We're now going to carry on and meet another member of the team here at the Shrine. And I'd like to introduce you to Sam. And Sam is the Director of Operations for the Shrine. So we've heard why people should come, Sam. What have we got when they, when they, when they get here? What have you got to offer them? Well, first and foremost, we're a place of hospitality. If you remember, the initial miracle here was the establishment of our Ladies' House of Nazareth. So we're a home. We're a place of welcome, warmth, comfort, friendliness. Um, and that's reflected in, for example, the, the high standard of our bedrooms, the catering facilities that we offer, the dining spaces, the breakout rooms. And here we are in quite a beautiful garden as well. And I think when people come, they come here for a place of, of rest, to forget the outside world, to in a way forget some of their troubles um, and to come here and simply just be and, and relax and, and enjoy. And I think as much as we have some very good facilities here, we also have this friendly welcome. So I think people are coming here to find rest at home. It's home from home. And that's what we endeavour to provide for everyone that comes. So Sam, if a group came, um, say they came for a weekend, two nights um, and a, a couple of days, what sort of programme of activities might they um, expect or what could you help them plan and prepare? It's a balance, really, I think, between the, the spiritual and pastoral and liturgical desires that groups have and things like socialising, relaxing, spending time with the group that they're with. So on the one hand, we can offer quite a, a good programme of spiritual events, and that might start with morning prayer the, or even mass at the parish church, which is right next door to our facilities. We could then move down to the shrine a mile down the road, um, and there we have Stations of the Cross outside, the big crosses that were carried from around the country to the shrine uh, some years ago. Um, we could then move into the Chapel of Reconciliation for midday mass, um, and then there are afternoon devotions, um, but there is also a chance to light candles at various points around the shrine, and of course to visit the Slipper Chapel, which is why a lot of people come down and to pay respects, make devotions to our Mother Mary. Um, and within all of that, there's picnic spaces, there's the shop, there's the tea room. So people again can feel, take their time, relax, enjoy what we have to offer. So Sam, that, that sounds great. Now our groups are very used to the story of Lourdes and Our Lady appearing to Bernadette and asking people to come on pilgrimage to, to pray and to come in procession. What's the story of Walsingham then? Why, why do people come here? First and foremost, it is part of the English Catholic heritage. Um, the shrine was established in 1061. 
um, back in Anglo-Saxon times, just before the Battle of Hastings. And from there, thrived into the Middle Ages and up to the point of the Reformation. And all of these points you know, chime very much with our own social history um, within the country. And I think that is one aspect of it. What's the narrative of being an English Catholic? And we find that narrative going right back to the beginning state of Walsingham and this miracle of the Holy House. I think in this day and age, the notion of pilgrimage, of going on a journey, brings people across the country, down from the north, across from Wales. You know, people travel long distances to get here. And this, this journey is somehow reflective of their own particular journey. And I think in answer to the question, people come here to find what they themselves are looking for. We don't impose something on them. People come here because they are themselves are looking for something. And we simply want to make that a very seamless and warm and friendly and inviting experience. So we've come to the end and thank you for joining us on our short pilgrimage here in the Shrine of Walsingham. Thank you to all the staff and the volunteers who have welcomed us and made us feel really at home here today in the place that is very important to, to English Catholics but Catholics all over the world. So for our HCPT people this is a place that you might be interested in coming to as we prepare for our pilgrimage pilgrimages back in Lourdes. So we just end by saying a prayer of thanks for the shrine here and a prayer of thanks for all of our HCPT family as we say Our Lady of Walsingham pray for us, Our Lady of Lourdes pray for us and Saint Bernadette pray for us. So thank you all very much and we'll see you all on the next episode of HCP TV. Goodbye. Thank you.